Hello, Las Vegas, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Golf at the Park, Angel Park Golf Club's weekly interview show. I want to thank you very much for subscribing, liking, and commenting on these videos. Commenters are getting prizes. Uh, we're giving away free large buckets of balls, rounds on cloud nine, just to show our appreciation for commenting on the videos. So thank you for doing that. Today's show is going to be really fun. Um, we've got Nick Jadis uh, joining us. Nick. How are you? Thank you for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're going to have a good time. Nick is uh, one of the founders and leaders of the Golf Fathers, who uh, most of you probably already know. And if you don't, you need to go follow them. The Golf Fathers are a really fun um, golf-influencing crew out of Las Vegas, and they're doing big things, and their videos are always hilarious, and um, you're going to want to check those out. Now that we got all that out of the way, um, let's start at the beginning, Nick. Uh, this is your story. So um, how were you introduced to golf? So I'm, I'm a newcomer. I grew up playing baseball, playing basketball. I picked up um, a golf club for the first time in 2018. Okay, so you're only five years in. Yeah. Cool, but you're you're native, right? You're born and raised in Las I, Vegas. So I'm born in Buffalo, New York, but I'm raised out here. Raised in Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah. So, um, why don't you tell your story then? Let's let's uh, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. Um, when did you start playing sports? Yeah. So I mean, I've been into sports since you know since I was a kid, a young young kid. My dad was a diehard Yankee fan, diehard baseball guy. So I grew up playing baseball. Um, but I took a liking to everything. I played football out in the front yard, um, had a basketball hoop in front of my house. So I played all sports, uh, played Little League baseball growing up. And then I found a love for basketball probably towards my middle school years um, and started taking that a little more serious. So fell in love with basketball, um, ended up telling my dad during high school, like, hey, I'm going to quit this baseball thing and I'm going to focus on, on basketball. Time. Yeah. So did that, um, focused on basketball, ended up playing two years of college basketball. Uh, my first year out in Oregon um, at a community college called Southwest um, Oregon Community College called SWAC. Took a year off, came back home, and then I headed out to, uh, to Victorville, California, and I played over at uh, VVC. Uh, David um, Kinnan. Who yeah. was on the show earlier mentioned that. So um, funny thing with that is that summer that I took the year off, I went when I was kind of trying out for the team and stayed with him because he was there. And then I went and tried out with the basketball team the year prior. Fun. Yeah. Um, let's go back a little bit because um, uh, Rocky also played basketball. So that's kind of how me and Rock met. Um, going into our freshman year, I went to Silverado High School. Rocky went to Foothill High School. And at that time, we were kind of rivals because we were both – good in the city um so me and rock kind of went through the same circuit we played freshman freshman as freshman jv as as sophomores varsity as junior and and, so, and seniors um so we didn't really meet each other and kind of hang out until probably our junior senior year but i knew who he was and he knew who, who i was um but we got really really close our senior year through basketball yeah, um, tell me about that dynamic. You're best friends now. Yeah, right? so, I mean that's so, that's my guy. So what happened senior year with Rock? So Rock, man, he's just you know if if, if you if you know Rocky, he's just a he's just a good guy. So going to rival schools, we battle. You know, you, you talk a lot of crap on the court and things like that. But off the court, um, we just kind of started. We exchanged numbers and we started basically hanging out, going to like pickup games. We'd go to the local twenty fours and kind of play together, and we just. We just realized, me and him, were, were, we had a lot of similarities. We were very competitive. We liked competing. We liked sports. You know, we were 16, 17-year-old kids, and we, we liked the same thing. And, you know, both Italian. We, we kind of have that family right. structure. So me and Rock just kind of took to each other very, very quick. Um, but also, as you start to get more comfortable around somebody, you could see the dynamic of, you know, I'm, I'm a loud mouth. I'm a if I could say this, I'm a ball buster, yep. right? And, uh, and, and Rock is... <laughs> an easy person to get under his skin. So at a young <laughs> age, during our teenage years, Rock knew I was going to be, I was going to be getting under his skin for forever. So, so, so uh, it's interesting in your content pieces, Rock, he must be deflecting because <laughs> Rock likes to be the one that points out that he gets under your skin. You know, and he, he'll say that for the camera, you know, but, and, and you know what? I'll give it to Rock. If there's one person that can't irritate me, it's, it's Rock. It's <laughs> Rock. And I try not to show it, but Rock, will, he'll get under my skin. That is so fun. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so uh, you, you're playing college ball. Yeah. Uh, take us back to Victorville. Yeah. So so finished up at, at, at Victorville, got my associate's degree, um, 
you know, I was, did I, did I want to continue playing basketball? Yes, but I was, I was a little older. I mean, I was 21, 22, and I kind of feel like I grew up a lot quicker. I kind of wanted to start making money. You know, I, 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 I got two years of education. I said, you know, let me just start working. I don't want to be broke anymore. I don't want to be the 22-year-old college kid. I want to get out and start working. Um, so, yeah, so I got into uh, basically started getting, like, in the nightlife, daylife industry, started working at the Palms, um, and put kind of my basketball – you know, college years behind me and just kind of playing in the rec leagues and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so I just came back home and started working. Awesome. Um, so I guess take us up to 2018. What what uh, what happens? Yeah. So a buddy of mine by the name of Kevin Rath, he uh, he he's shout a high, out Kevin Rath. Shout out to Kevin Rath. Um, he he was in town because he's uh, he's actually a sports agent. So he was in town for the summer um, and he was like, hey, man, like, do you want to start golfing? You know, at the time I was kind of like golfing. I don't, you know, I watched it, but I, I didn't really know much about it. So we started going the range. I said, you know what? Hey, I don't have any clubs. Rock actually let me his set of clubs for a little while. Um, and that's kind of how it started. Me and Kev just going to, going to the range, me playing with him and his dad and his older brother, um, and just brutally just sucking. And, and I'm very competitive. So I played my first few rounds and I did not like the feeling of being bad. I hated it. So I was going to ask you when, when you got bit by the bug. It was pretty instant, quick. It was instant, like that. Instant. <clears throat> because, you know, usually a game like golf, you play it, and it's, it's – you're. I like to consider myself an athlete. It's something – you know, other things I can kind of just pick up and kind of get and hang in there and be mediocre. Golf, no. I, I couldn't. I could – and that's what drove me to just – I got – I wanted to get better and better and better and better. So I got the bug instantly. Did you start taking lessons? I never took a lesson. Never take I a am self-taught, so if you see my swing, that <laughs> that don't judge it. This is all me. This is no YouTube. This is me just going out and feeling the ball and and trying to make contact. So, did you have trouble with the the baseball swing that you had developed I so did. early? I did. So if you still see, I kind of still do the over top because I come outside and in for that power. So, I yes, it, it's still it's still there. It's something I want to break, and I think. I do want to get lessons. I'm not against it, um, and I probably will eventually. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. Um, so uh, when do you start playing with Rocky? So Rock, so same thing. So as I started, Rock always kind of golfed. So Rock was kind of in my first few rounds as well, um, but at that point he, he wasn't as good. He was better than me, obviously, uh, but we would go out and just kind of have some fun. Now, me being who I am, as I started to get better and started to get a little more comfortable. And started ribbing him more. And started ribbing him more. <laughs> the text got a little more confident. <laughs> hey, Rock, do you want to play tomorrow? Hey, Rock, do you want to play tomorrow? And then as I got it, started to get better and better, then we formed our group chat, and, and that's kind of what led to, to all this. Yeah, Rocky brought up the group <laughs> chat, and that's uh, where where the, the video started, right? Um, yeah. I think there was something Rock said that the first video was actually not even intended to go out to anyone it was yeah. just to, to to talk shit and, and prove something to your boys it was it would the intention was to, to embarrass the other person so if i won right if i won this is going to be blasted on the group chat be like look guys i beat rock on camera here you go he can't say anything <laughs> who won we tied <laughs> we tied. That's great. I was up three going into sixteen, and I and I oh, folded. You blew it. You I blew John it. Van I, it. I, I literally blew it. <laughs> literally blew it. That sucks. Um, and I don't remember what he said. How how soon does it start? The idea start about um, posting them for uh, creating a page yeah. and and starting um, your. You when did the golf fathers come up? So so we kind of so Rock was even so we started like June-ish of last year, right? So we're only, we've only been doing this, excuse me, for about a year. Rock was on me the beginning of 2022 about, man, we need to get in front of the camera. We need to record. This is kind of like the new thing. Like, we'd be good. And I kept shut that poor guy down. I was like, Rock, man, we come on. Like, we don't need to do it. Like, it's just, I don't want to be on YouTube. I'm not trying to do this. And, and you know, I'm thankful for Rock because he stayed He on. kept pushing. He you. did. He did. Um, so I said, hey, look, man, let's do it. That's when we filmed our first episode. We filmed two others. Um, we kind of had some of our other, other buddies in it. We brought a, that's what kind of when we got Kyle. That's when we got Gino. Um, and me and Rock just kind of sat down one day and we said, man, we kind of, we kind of got some here, especially bringing the dynamic of Gino, uh, bringing Kyle. We got we got Pete, who's amazing with the camera and the editing. Shout out Pete! Oh, that's our guy, man. That's love you, Pete. That's my boy, man. Um, 
And we just kind of sat down, and man, we were thinking, we originally called, uh, we called ourselves like The Funnigans. Like, that was kind of our name, um, which we ended up kind of making an episode out of. But, uh, but yeah, man, we just sat down one day, and we just started brainstorming. Like, we kind of got some here, man. And that's kind of where we came up with the name The Golf Fathers. Well, no offense to the other guys, but I want to hear Gino's story. He hasn't been on yet. He will be. <laughs> but um, Rocky and you have both kind of highlighted him. Um, when you when you talk about all the guys, you yeah. all say Gino a couple extra times, yeah. and Gino, Gino. <laughs> so um, l- tell me Gino's story. So Gino, I've I've actually known Gino for since I was in high school as well. You know, through mutual friends, um, and Gino's always been, let's say, a character um, in his <laughs> own right. But uh, you know, Gino's a good guy, man. He's uh, the one thing I love about Gino is Gino is Gino, right? He's always going to be him. He doesn't care what anyone thinks about him. Um, so he just adds that kind of like flavor and kind of just that spontaneous, you know, nature that we need in the group. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, I, I got to ask Rock and Dave about, um, Bobda and, uh, and how you guys got to do a lot of cool things, go to cool places. Waste management was the highlight. Yeah. Um, tell me about your favorite things about those. Yeah. So Rock is, one thing about Rock, um, he's very good at building relationships. So he, he, he was a big fan of the Bob Doe sports guys and shot in the dark. Uh, I guess Joe was posting something about a bet and Rock intervened and said, Hey, don't bet that bet the other way. Right. And Joe responded. So it, that kind of stemmed from that. The bet ended up winning and they were like, Rock, you're the man. And the relationship was built. Um, so we kind of Rock just kind of through texting, things like that, um, Got Joe out here. Um, He kind of got to meet the guys. I got to kind of form my own relationship with Joe. He did a content piece with you? He did, man. And we didn't even ask him. You know, we were just like, hey, come out, hang out with us, man. We just kind of want to spend some time with you, man. Do things like that. And Joe being the guy that he is, great guy, man. Love that guy. Um, was like, hey, hey, shout buddies. out Joey Cold. Oh yeah, I want you on the show. Yeah. I'm working on Rock, and uh, I'd, I'd really like to, you to, to come to Vegas and tell your story. And he'd be great on this, man. Joe's a great speaker. But uh, he came in and just kind of took a liking to us as well, and saw that we were just good people and just kind of wanted to have some fun. And we were out, and he just said, "Hey guys, like you guys are playing tomorrow. Like I'll come out and I'll just film with you." And it just kind of went from there. Literally the night before. And we. So, so tell me about Scottsdale. So, yeah, so then we headed out to Scottsdale. Um, we were out there for, obviously, the the, uh, the Breezy Invitational. Um, so that was fun. We did that. We filmed with uh, Ryan Pepiot of the Los Angeles Dodgers, um, another good guy, another Sunday Swagger partner. Um, so it was a very good business trip for us. So we had the filming with Pepiot. We did the, the Breezy Tournament, um, and then we got to head out to, to Waste Management, uh, which for me was my first professional golf tour type of experience which was awesome it was so cool man yeah um you mentioned sunday swagger uh your guys uh it's you could argue that um they've been as influential and helpful to you guys as bob does sports so yes let's talk about sunday swagger because we definitely want to highlight them shout out to our guy ethan you know ethan is is another just good solid guy as you can see as we talk more you could see we're we're relationship based we we want good people in our circle um, and Ethan is one of those guys. So Sunday Swagger Man, same thing with Rock, just kind of reaching out, trying to get some, build some relationships. Um, he reached out to them, and, and they were nice enough to kind of just send us some free polos. Hey, guys, you know, here you go. You know, we, we like you guys. We like what you're doing. Keep it up. Um, and we just kind of stayed at it. We just, we just, we kept promoting their stuff. We kept ordering it, and, 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 and they kept sending us stuff. Um, and, and they took a chance at us, man. They're, they're the first guys that really – you know, took us from the ground up and, and gave us a chance and really said, hey, man, like, we believe in you guys. We want to attach our names, you know, to you guys, and, and we're very thankful for them. That's awesome. Yeah. And <clears throat> at this point, this brings us to Angel Park and the Golf Fathers uh, because tomorrow night, Sunday Swagger is, uh, is holding an event that we're all very excited about. I don't even want to explain it. I want you to explain it. What's going to happen tomorrow night? Our tournament. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So we're, we are, and honestly, Jeb, man, you've been amazing. You know, you guys here at Angel Park have been so good to us, man. So we, we just, obviously I'm glad we can do this face to face and say how much we appreciate you guys. And thank you, you know, for allowing us to, to host this tournament. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow night, uh, we'll be having our, our Vegas night, uh, par three extravaganza here. Um, we're going to be Let's doing it over at the cloud nine here. Um, we're going to have all the neon stuff going on. We're going to have a DJ. It's going to be, 
you know, obviously the golf's going to be there because it's the par three course, but it's going to be just a good time. You know, we're going to have um, we're going to have kind of just different things set up at all the holes. Um, you know, we're going to have all our sponsors there. Um, Do you want to list them rat a tat tat off? I mean, we have so many, man. We got our long ball shooters there. We got Sunday Swagger. Um, I'm gonna miss so many, and I don't want to butcher That's it cool. on yeah, the yeah. spot. But I mean, we'll we'll post the uh, yeah. We'll post they'll the all be in these links below. Too. Yeah, and yeah, don't we'll don't hate me because if I forgot you, it's just kind of on a spur of the moment thing. Um, and then another thing as well as you know, we're we're donating to the to the Jeremiah program, which is which is big for us, man. Um, the Jeremiah program, it is it's it's a program for uh, single single moms. Right. Um, you know, are just kind of struggling. You know, they got they got you know kids to support, and they just need a little bit of help. So, just an awesome program, and you know, we're we're happy to to be able to contribute to that. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, let's go back to Angel Park. You guys have done a few pieces um, for us. Uh, what's the whiskey? Uh, oh yeah, we did fire. Oh yeah, we did a lot of our drinking challenges here. Actually, I think. I want to say all of them. We did it. We did our our proper Let's twelve. Go. We did a, we did both episodes of our Happy Dads, um, the Pink Whitney Challenge. Um, so yeah, you guys, man, Angel Park has been great to us, um, and and that that's why you know it just makes it so much easier, right? When you have that relationship, it just we want to come out and and you know I mean it's such a great course. You know it looks good on camera, um, which is big for us too. So um, yeah, man, you got you guys have been awesome. Tell me what your favorite one was that you shot here. Um, honestly, probably the happy dads. We, and the reason being for that is just for whatever reason, when we get together, like instead of competing, which I love competing, but when we get together, we just, just to have, have we just have a blast. And especially you, you throw some drinks in there. Um, if you guys have watched, you know, happy dad one and two, which just, just dropped about a month ago. Um, they're just good, entertaining episodes. And, um, production values again, shout out to Peter Hewn. Oh man. Um, uh, those are so clean when you guys went down to the strip and shot all those yeah. interior and exterior yeah. shots and out at the Las Vegas sign. And um, th uh, those videos just really, really impressed me. And, and I had a lot of fun with them. Um, <clears throat> let's get into your personal life a little bit. Uh, do you have a class of uh, the organization at home? Say that again. Uh, have you, are you married? I'm not married. No, no, no. So I, I do have a girlfriend. Um, we're kind of doing the long distance thing right now. Um, and funny thing about her is I actually met her at a golf tournament that me and Rock went to. That's fun. Um, so, and I am the only person in the Golf Fathers that is not a father. So that's yeah. kind of. Kind oh, yeah, of that's right. Yeah. Um, Nick said that he, or Rock said that he was trying to uh, get you to, to get a pet or yeah. something. <laughs> they, they've been trying to get me a dog. Rock just got a rabbit. He's been trying to pawn that on me. But, nah, we're not, we're not doing that. Um, we cannot forget to <laughs> shout out your, uh, your lady's name. Uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn out in, out in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So shout you're out watching Jocelyn. This. Yeah. Um, okay, we've covered that. Why don't you tell me about um, if golf now at this point has it changed your your viewing patterns? Do you watch much golf? I do. So when I I mean I grew up you know in into sports. So I played the Tiger Woods PGA video game. You know I played Mario Golf. You know I did all that. So I always had like somewhat of an understanding. Um, but now that I'm into it. Um, like I said, I'm hooked. I watch all the tournaments, um, and now that I play more, I am just so baffled by how good these guys actually are. They're so they good. They are <laughs> so good. So when I was a kid, I'd say, oh, that guy missed that putt. He sucks. I'm like, geez, Nick, if you could see, if 34-year-old Nick, if I could see that, I would sit you down and say, you have no clue, kid. Right. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's an awesome game. Um, the thing that I love is, is the competitive nature of it. There's no one to blame but you. If you want to get good at it, you got to practice. If you want to, if you want to exceed, you you it's all on you. You have to. It's true. It's true, and um, and it's important, I think, to uh, acknowledge that that golf <clears throat> golfers want to consume every single thing about the game yes. when they get bit. It's it's crazy. Apparel, yep. um, clubs, equipment. Um, it's it's uh, it's fun and. Tell me about uh, equipments. Are you uh, are you a stickhead yet? <sighs> Not yet. So that and, and Rocky is. So Rock is the one that is adamant about me, um, you know, updating all my clubs and things like that. But I take to the point where I kind of like to what I call level up. 
when I feel like I'm getting better. So I had my starter irons, and I had those for the first three years or so. It got to the point where I didn't buy new irons. Rock physically had to buy me irons <laughs> as a gift. He just shipped them to me and said, open your door, and I had new irons at my house. That's so That's fun. how bad he hated my, my starter <laughs> clubs. Um, um, so five years in, um, tell me about if there are things about the game that uh, frustrate you or that you would change. What's cool now, what, what I'm noticing about golf is it's, it's getting a little more casual. And, and, and not to where it's crossing the line where it's disrespecting the game, but it's easing up a little bit where it used to be you had to be in the slacks and you had to have the shirt tucked in and you had to have the hat forward. And it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of lightened up a little bit, which is cool, right? Obviously, look at the shirt that I'm wearing. Um, shout out to Sunday Swagger. Um, you know, and I'm, I like to kind of, you know, have back, fun. Yeah, and going back to your last point, I like wearing the Jordan the Jordan golf shoes, right? So you're you're a you're I an am. apparel head. Yes, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's how I look at it. If I can't play good, I might as well look good. Right? Yeah, that's fun. Well, you um, always look sharp. I so, appreciate so that's that. cool. Thank you. Um, it's probably an easier thing to uh, <laughs> to answer this next question. Yeah. What are the things that um, you you really enjoy about golf? What's your favorite thing about golf? My favorite thing about golf. Um. Honestly, like, brotherhood. It's the brotherhood, right? Great it's, answer. We haven't gotten that yeah, yet. Yeah, it's the brotherhood, right? You know, you, you go out there and you're, you're out there with, with, with your people and your boys and your friends, and you're out there for four hours, right? And don't get me wrong, everyone's still on their phone a little bit. I try not to be on it as much, but you can just kind of escape reality and just and focus on, on being out there with the guys and playing a game and Four hours is a long time, sure. Right, and, and a fast ride, even three hours. You know, if you're if you're if you're moving, but it's uh, it's being out there with the fellas. That's what makes the filming so fun too. Um, it's just getting out there with the guys, man, and 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 you know, swinging the clubs and just kind of being fun and and, and kind of escaping reality for a little bit. Well, let's talk about the filming because um, uh, I already asked Rock uh, the question about how much of your guys is shtick, and he says that. It's not. It's just basically. It's just turned up a notch. Yeah. But, but not even. Not even necessarily that. If you if you had cameras, I think was the analogy he said. Way up on a rock when you guys were just out playing, you'd get the same stuff. You'd oh, yeah. see the same thing. Oh yeah. Um, who comes up with your content? Like uh, your ideas. So Do you we, guys have one guy that tends to be the creator? The no. And that's the good thing about us is that we're obviously we're all in the group chat and we like to get together about once, you know, either once a week or once every two weeks, have a meeting of the minds. Right. So we kind of go over, you know, hey, guys, you know, what can we do to ramp up this? Excuse me. You know, what can we push for this? video ideas. What, what do you guys have? So to answer your question, I mean, we all kind of as a whole collectively have come up with every video is kind of someone else's idea, right? So the meatball challenge, I believe that was Gino's. Um, the, the happy dad challenge, I think that was rocks. Like we've all come up um, with, with the ideas of these videos as a whole. That's cool. Yeah. Speaking of content pieces, it's time <laughs> to shout out Carter, the D O D King. Oh yeah. You know, did you just see He's, I did. He's playing at the DJ Khaled. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Shout out fun. Carter, man. He's, uh, he's, he's already on his way, but this kid is going to be a star, and I'm really hoping that we get him on the next time the, he's the in Conor Vegas. The Conor McGregor of, of social yeah, media Yeah, he kind of is. He and is. He, he blew is. up so fast. <laughs> uh, he was out here um, with the Golf Fathers, and you guys played Cloud9 when you guys were shooting your weekend of content pieces, and we let him hit the driver off the deck on a par-3 golf course um, at night, and uh, we went cross country so we could get a, a, a hole far enough away. Yeah. But it was also hitting a glow ball, so it, it couldn't be 280. It had to be 220. Um, and he hit the green, which was, uh, was, Super was cool. so fun and yeah. so exciting. <laughs> Tell us about your relationship with Carter and what some of your favorite things about that weekend were. That was a fun weekend. That was a lot of golf. Um, and Carter, he's, he's a cool kid, man. He, uh, you know, I, I kind of saw his stuff, and I – you know, he's coming with the with the attitude and, you know, I, and the alpha male energy and things like I that. I also wonder about how much it, of his is shtick. So it's it, I wouldn't even say it's a shtick. He's he's a great he's a great or a character. Yeah, I, I it's it's crazy because 
I don't want to call it a character because you could tell it is who he is. But he he doesn't he doesn't have like that arrogance off camera. He's well, he's a good kid. I was surprised by that. You know, meeting yeah, you him, him for the first time and he didn't know me from Adam and yeah. I'm a nobody and he was gracious and and super professional and yeah, I just I really had a good time with that. So I wanted to highlight him. Um, but when he turns it on, when those cameras come on, and he, he, he's can, gold. he can turn it on. He can hold a normal conversation with you and then flip and it. And he's a <laughs> hell of a player. Oh, he can. He, the DOD thing is real. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen him crush some balls in person. Yeah. It, it's insane. It is insane. Um, tell us about uh, Out on the Lake that weekend. That was fun. Yeah, so shout out to that guy, uh, our buddy Josh, um, over at, uh, I believe it's Henderson Water, Las Vegas Water Sports. Um, yeah, that was super fun. So they they... They drove us out there. Um, he kind of set up uh, basically a little dock for us, and we had uh, the kiddie pools out there, and we were kind of chipping. And I, I know and you, you were on a mat in the water so, too. So we had we had the paddle board was covered with the turf as well, which, which as you could see from the videos, was so difficult to do. Yeah, um, <laughs> I loved everybody falling yeah, off. It was it was a super cool. You know that I would like to do that again and kind of add some more stuff to. And we're kind of talking with Josh about that. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was just some different, you know, we wanted to kind of give people just a different, you know, still incorporate golf, but just, just some different. Yeah. Um, it was a really fun piece yeah. to watch. And mind We're, you, I was the only one to make it into the, into the kiddie pool. So, um, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't yeah. remember that, but I did remember, aren't you the one who lost a driver that day? No, that was Carter's buddy, uh, oh. Brady, Brady. He actually lost two clubs. Yeah. <laughs> he lost two clubs so, in the lake. <laughs> yeah. Luckily they were people's kind of, you know, their, their rock clubs and things like that. So it wasn't anything dramatic. But yeah, Brady lost two clubs that day. That's so fun. <laughs> I want to thank you for uh, for coming on. Yeah, um, it's been a blast. And that's the end of the first segment of our show. The second segment is uh, a series of questions we like to call our par five. So we're going to play uh, a par five with Nick right now. <laughs> we ask the same five questions to every guest every week. All the answers are different. They're interesting. They're funny. Um, and, uh, and I can't wait to do this. So are you ready to play a par five? Let's do it. All right. Question number one, what's your favorite golf movie? Favorite golf movie? I mean, oh God, I feel like this answer is just going to be the, the token. Well, we I, get a lot. Yeah, I got to go Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. It, it, early, <laughs> it wasn't said, and I was surprised for the first month or two. What else was said? Um, I saw Nis at Tin Cup. Caddyshack, Tin Cup. Oh, no, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Nis said Caddyshack. Early, I, I guess we had more golf purists on early. Yeah. Early, we got the serious golf answers. You know, the greatest game ever played, um, the legend of Bagger Vance. Will um, Smith, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, movies that weren't necessarily... Um, anything that you guys maybe ever even seen, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, your generation. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, Happy Gilmore's great. I know that it was Rock's favorite because of hockey. Yeah. Um, why was it your favorite? Well, grow obviously, growing up at, during that time, I was a kid, and, and it was Adam Sandler, right? You had Happy Gilmore. You had Billy Madison. He had those those string of movies. Yeah. Um, he had four or five yeah, in a row that yeah, were all just bangers. bombers. Yeah, yeah just bangers. <laughs> um, but, I mean, who, I mean, Happy Gilmore, like, it's one of those movies that is on, if it's on cable television, you'll stop and watch it every single time. That's right. You know? Yep. And it's so quotable. Yeah. And, um, and it's so Bob, unrealistic now that I go Bob off. Barker did his most famous thing ever, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. which, was, which was really cool. The price is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I didn't want to cuss. Uh, no, that's all right. Anyway, well, we're going to get to that. Yeah. We're going to get to that. Um, question number two, shot number two. What's Let's your favorite club in your bag and why? For me, it's probably the gap wedge. I, I tend to do better with the, uh, with the shorter clubs. Um, and the gap wedge, for whatever reason, when I started out, was just the one that I took to. Um, so that, that 105, 115 range, I, I, I'm happy. You're right? solid with yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, what kind of gap wedge is it? Uh, brand wise? Yeah. Do you even know? That's Rock, great. what do I have? What are my clubs? <laughs> That's I, I forget we'll what my clubs Rocky. are. Yeah. Um, He's okay. mad. He wants me to get a new club, so <laughs> that'll probably be gone soon. Question number three, my favorite question. Yeah. It might take you a few minutes to think about, so take your time. Yeah. Um, these questions, this question is, is, is hard to narrow down for most people. I want to know what your dream foursome would be. So you get a round of golf, and you can play with any three people, alive or dead. Um, who would you go play golf with, and where would you play? And, and I'm the fourth, so it'd yes, be three. you get be, three. Okay. And, um, and take a beat. Yeah. 
Well, you know, like I said, I'm still somewhat newer to golf, so I'd probably play somewhere local. I'd probably play over at a... Uh, Cascada? I mean, we love Cascada, but I would play over at a... Um, what's, what, what's the... Uh, Shadow... Shadow Creek. Shadow Creek. Yeah, that's, that's, that's top dog of, of where I want to play. So I'd play at Shadow Creek. Who would I play with? Um, Michael Jordan. I'd want to play with Michael Jordan. Great. Um, Perfect answer to yeah. basketball, golf, exactly. competitive, gambling, the goat, <laughs> gambling. Yeah, gambling. Um, Tiger Woods, obviously, uh, that'd be amazing to kind of learn some things from him. And and a sneaky one, and because I've through podcasts and things like that, I heard he's a golfer. I would love to play with Joe Pesci. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. He's a golfer. In yeah. fact, I never caddied for him when I worked at Shadow Creek, but but he would play Shadow Creek every time he was in Vegas. Really? Yeah. And. Um, I don't remember if he's a good golfer, but he is a golf nut. He's yeah, an that's what I heard. Golfer, that's what I heard. For sure. That's a fun answer. <laughs> that's a Vegas answer. Yeah. Talk um, about that for some, huh? Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. You guys, that would be amazing. You could sell that. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Um, cool. Question number four. What's your aiming fluid? What are you drinking on the golf course? Uh, so I feel like I'm of the group kind of like the – the middle tier drinker, you know, you got Niz and Kyle who who can who can put them down. Gino can too. Rock is the non drinker. Right. So for me, I'm probably if I'm if I'm looking to drink, probably a Jameson and ginger throughout the rounds. Great answer. Jameson and ginger. Um, and if I'm just kind of looking to hang out with the boys and kind of sip something refreshing, probably go Michelob Ultra. Yeah. Some light, something I could just you know cruise through and 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 drink a few. Do you find that it affects your game uh, improving or, or worse? So that was the second part. If, if the first three holes start out bad, I'm drinking. <laughs> because it's, it'll probably make me worse, but I'll enjoy the rounds. But you'll have more fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, the, the dynamic between <laughs> golf and alcohol is, oh, it's, is fascinating. It goes hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, question number five, the last question of our show. We want to thank you for watching and inform you that this show may no longer be PG rated. <laughs> um, I want you to feel comfortable saying uh, whatever the truth is. Let's just be honest for this one. Okay. When you're on the course and you hit a bad shot, um, what word or phrase do you yell, mutter, whisper, think in your head? Because um, all golfers have have one or two that they that that they kind of go back to a lot. Yeah. Now I'm I'm not proud of it, right? It's just no one is. it's yeah, it's just and if you see the videos, you know, I tend to have like my, my mom has told me, Nick, you <laughs> tone, it, tone down it down a little bit. We get Class it. Class it up. And it's son. just like ah <laughs> but that's the realness of the video is that, you know, we obviously peek and edit, you know, a little bit, but it's we are who we are. Right? Much like alcohol, yeah. <laughs> swearing goes hand in hand it with does. golf. Um, if, if you ever catch any of the cameras when they're mic'd and the Netflix um, uh, series, you know that um, so many of them, not it's all. human but nature. So, yes, too. yes, yes. Especially a, when you're frustrated. It's a part of the game. Mm -hmm. All right, let's hear it. God, this is just it, on the spot. It's just fun. I mean, my go-to is just your typical Nick. You fucking suck. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, bleep that out. But yeah, that's no, we're not just right to the point. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the f bomb is the most. That's common. the go-to. You gotta um, emphasize the. F yes, yes. Oh. oh, the emphasis matters. Let out the anger. You gotta let it out. <laughs> um, what do you say when you hit a good shot? I'm nice. <laughs> I'm nice. I'm nice. Or I look at Rock. <laughs> And you look at Rock, Rock and say, you see I'm that? nice. Rock, you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice is the way we're going to end this show. Thank you for watching. Nick. Hey, thank you so much. So fun. This was fun. This was great. And uh, we'll see you next week on Golf at the Park. And until next time, hit them straight from your friends at Angel Park Golf Club. Cheers. Awesome.